Hi guys and welcome to Java of MS Access Database Connection. And now let me show you guys how this works. So as you can see right here, let's assume we want to print. Just click on the print and you select whatever you want to print. Just allocate yourself if you have a printer. Go ahead, do that. Or you can even save it as a PDF file. I'm not going to bother doing that. We can reset if we want. But I'm not going to reset yet. And we can also select. Just click on DB Connect. That will show you the, the last input. If you select any data in here, that will be displayed here. And let's assume we want to reset. Click on Reset. Yes, enter new data in there. Um, let's say the name is Liz Queenie. And here, address number one, Gus County. And postcode. Telephone number There we go All you then need to do is just click on insert So just to prove to you that we don't have the details of Liz have a good look at it click on insert there and Right there the details of Liz is already added to the database Now let's check out the database itself Okay, let's open up the database and check out Liz. Double click on that and right there, that's the details of Liz. So I'm going to close that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into JavaNet Bean and we put one of these together. Okay, let's click on exit. You can say no or you can say yes, you want to exit. There we go. So I'm going to go straight to the file. Let's select file, new project. And in here, make sure you select Java with and and select Java application. Click on next. And you can give your project a name. I'm just going to call it Java underscore MS underscore access. Yeah, that will do. And I'm going to get rid of the create main class because I intend to create that myself just click on finish there we go now let's see that's my Java right there okay so you see the Java I'm gonna right click on it let's go to new and select Java frame okay now select Java frame to create a form you can give that a name too. The name is going to be Java underscore MS underscore access. There we go. And the package name, I'm going to copy that and just name, give it the same name. Click on finish. There we go. Now, I'm going to now right click on this form. And let's go to where we have set layout. I will select absolute layout there I'm just gonna drag it that much there we go okay now the form is ready but let's do one thing I'm just gonna right click on the form let's select properties in here because I want to get the form centered I'm gonna select that you see the size of the form I'm gonna increase that to 1300 and just make this randy top make it 600 and that is that there now let's go straight into the panel here and inside the palette and in the palette i want this panel just grab that and drag it that much okay i think that we do now go to the properties of that particular panel and in there I want the border let's look for border there we go that's the border click on the border I'm gonna select line border make that about four there and right here you see where we have the color for the line border I'm gonna change that to 
let's go for cadet blue I do know the yet yeah, I know the code for that that's 90 by 95 by 158 by 160 make this 160 no 160 and yep yeah, that's cadet blue right I think that is a little bit too thin for me I'm gonna make that it all right that's cool now right click on it and I'm going to then select absolute layer for it as well let's make sure that is going to stick yeah absolute layer selected yeah absolute layer now I'll copy it so right click and just copy where is copy there and paste right and I'm going to need one more of those drag this down paste another one yeah let's undo that and just bring it here cut it off okay that's much better and I'm just going to adjust that the way I want I think this might be too large and just bring this here alright this will be for my buttons that is fine now the next thing we want to do is right up here let's add label you don't have to add label I'm just doing it my own way so let's come right here the palette let's grab hold of label dump it right here go to the properties change the properties to something MS access database connection in Java Lead beans. Okay, now let's increase the fonts. Let's make that a little bit more readable. There, I think that's a bit too small. Then I'm going to just increase that a little bit more. Let's see. All right, that will do. Yeah, that's cool. Now the next thing is back to the palette here. Yeah. Now I'm just going to add a label, then a text box, or oh, it's called a text field, that's what I want, yeah. Then, let's just change the size of these two components, then we can go ahead and copy and paste, not the color of this font size. Make that about 24 bold. Okay, that will do. So this very one here, let's change this to right click and just change the text content to student ID. That is fine. And the other one, the lab, the the text field, we change that to maybe it's JTXT student ID copy that come right in here right click go to the okay change that to JTXT student ID there click on OK get rid of the text content that we have in there now select both control C paste we have two copy paste we have four paste and we have six that's what I'll do there and this right click text change that to first name and this is going to be JTXT first name change the variable name JTXT first name now this is going to be surname 
and this will be JTX is on it. Next is going to be address. Copy that. Right click on this. Change the variable name to JTXE address. Now here that is going to be postcode. Copy that. Change the text field to JTXE postcode. Click on OK. Now the last one that's going to be telephone. Copy the telephone. Click on this. Change the variable name to telephone. JTXT telephone. Click on OK. That's fine. All done. So now the next thing we want to do is and I want to I'm going to add table somewhere here. So let's come back in here. Go straight to the palette. We need table. Let's see. J table. There. I think that is it. Yeah. There we go. Paste that there. Alright. That's my table there. Just drag it that much. Okay. We have table in place. Now, we'll come back to table and take care of that as time goes on. Now, let's come in here. We need buttons. A slam one button there and uh, let's see how wide that button is 260 I'm gonna make that 240 all right that's cool now let's change 240 we do let's change the text contents let's make it a little bit bold um, that might be too much but let's see now right click change text content to maybe db connect something like that now copy paste have one here paste another one here and paste again okay let's rename this ones this right click change the variable name or change the the data that's view or insert right click the variable name that can be j btn there insert this is j btn connect and here Let's change that to maybe reset or print something like that. Reset. That we do. Right click. Variable name. Change that to JBTN. JBTN. Reset. And here, right click. Change that to print. And here. I click change that to JBTM print there and the last one that's going to be exit I will change this one to JBTN exit okay JBTN exit brilliant all right let's finish up with the table right click on the table I'm going to select the table content right click you see table content and in the air let's go into columns the first column here I'm going to change that to student ID the second one that's going to be first name surname here and we have address here All right, you can change the data type. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it as string. String and string here as well. Right. Um, 
okay we leave it at edit as editable let's insert more need two more let's select that to insert more and here I'm going to enter postcode the postcode and right here that's going to be telephone that's good all right so all of that is taken care of okay four rows can always be increased that's fine all right let's close that and that's it so if I run it now let's just compile it and run all right click on run okay click on ok and there we go that is how it's looking now okay, that's how it's looking now so with that I'm gonna call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly